a very good afternoon. And uh, I'm happy to speak about postcards, which is my favorite thing. So to start with, I would like to start from this particular uh, postcard. We all know, we are, are very familiar with postcards. We know that post boxes exist, post offices are there. But there are so many people who are involved in uh, the smooth functioning of any post office. So what inspired to make this particular postcard, which has helped the Madras Literary Society raise a lot of funds, was one of our old members. Uh, he will always return a book with a cover, and he'll always have a note inside. He was 82. And every uh, book will have a note or a, or a card or a postcard inside. And he would always thank the librarian. He will always thank uh, uh, the author. And then he will al also thank for the maintenance of the books. So we thought, why not we print postcards as a way of fundraiser? But we didn't know that we would have sold somewhere between 3,000 postcards, and which have been a huge help during the COVID lockdown. What are postcards and what can be in postcards? Generally, when we go abroad, when we look at a lot of postcards, it'll be buildings. It'll be um, prominent buildings, like if you take Chennai. Uh, when you search for postcards or when you look in pop culture and so many different references, Central would be the important thing. Central, yes, Central is an important building, but there are other buildings, there are other... So you can see uh, a car driving an auto there in the top corner, and then you can see one more person selling uh, fish here, and so many other things. So we thought, why can't the postcards be like a set of stories? Why can't the postcards carry stories. So these are made by Afrin. So Afrin and Akshaya on the left hand side. So we work with a lot of artists um, for the past eight years on creating these stories which can be a part of postcards. And this was her uh, idea, Akshaya's idea on what if the different Disney princesses or what if different characters whom we know, what if they are in Chennai? and what if they are going to a different buildings and looking at all that. So this was her idea. And the lower one which you see here with Madras are different plant species from Madras. There is a specific uh, hedgehog called the Madras hedgehog is also there. There are certain birds which has Madras in their names. So this is her detailed sketches of all that. And Afrin, who is from Raipuram, sketches her memories of her locality, which is Raipuram, through the people, through the colors, to the patterns, and so many different ways. And when you see below, you can see uh, Srishti. So it is 62 different colors, and how people associate these 62 colors with Madras. Now she's working on the same concept in Germany also, where she's working on uh, comparing those colors with in the city which she, which she lives. And uh, two months back, she was speaking about uh, the same thing. In Ist she was in Istanbul, and she was comparing the colors and creating all that. So all these postcards have been created with a cause. For example, one was a fundraiser for the Madras Literary Society. And uh, one was a part of uh, raising funds for local businesses in Amjikare. This, I wanted to add this particular picture because the first time we had this uh, postcard activity was way back in 2015-16. And uh, this was one of the very first time we had children talking about postcards and creating postcards for themselves. And if you see the postcards there, and you can see the shadows in one of in the next image, right? So Srishti made a series of postcards of how shadows fall on the buildings, and how the building texture changes, the tones changes, and uh, the different ways we look at the building uh, changes. So it was not just about printing the postcards with images or sketch. We also thought during the COVID lockdown time, one local business which was affected. There were so many things which were affected, but one particular business was the rubber stamp makers because everything was getting into e-signatures, e e-stamps, and all that. 
and they make these wonderful metal uh, impression rubber stamps or they can make uh, smaller rubber stamps and so many different things. So we knew them by uh, working with them when we do the Amjikarai trails from Namvidu. And while we were discussing with them, can you make uh, buildings is, was the question we asked. They said, you give us anything, we can try to make it. And it's been three, three and a half years, and we would have done some 450 stamps exclusively on the city of Madras. From your tea kadai to the state flower of Tamil Nadu, which is Singandar, uh, to famous personalities, to objects which we associate with Madras. And we have also customized different stamps based on that. But once the lockdown was uh, over and uh, they started getting business, we thought, okay, this is a project which we will stop. But then they got back and they said, we have displayed few of these uh, rubber stamps in our shops and people are asking if we could buy. And they asked us if we could make a rubber stamp of their house. If we could make a rubber stamp of the house which they lived 40 years back, which is not there anymore. So, uh, so we have a network of around 62 different people from different parts of Madras and few parts of Tamil Nadu too who make these rubber, rubber stamps for us. They can exactly make a face portrait also. And generally when we speak about art, when we speak about... Uh, the, there are very few times when we speak about the people involved, right? So we speak about the art, but we need to speak about the artist. When we speak about uh, uh, any, any important technique, we need to speak about the artist. And so we just started sketching the different, uh, this is by Padma, all these sketches which you, which you see here are done by Padma. And the second person you see here was our uh, post person from uh, 2021. And they used to deliver uh, two, three cards every day. And when we asked uh, them, why did they want to meet me? Because they kept telling my parents that they wanted to meet me. And they said, why, how do you get so many postcards every day? And within this, uh, then we, ha we sat down and we spoke and they saw that we sketched different local professions. They said, why isn't there a post person in your uh, postcards? So that was the starting of this particular series, wonderfully sketched by uh, Padma. And this was, again, all these were scenes from during the lockdown time, the end of 2020 and 21. And these are all sketched on the yellow postcards. These are these tiny sketches which are made. And this is from one of the sketch series by Srishti. Again, this was printed on postcards and this is also available as a uh, rubber stamp as well. Okay, there are colors, but without colors also, there is a meaning to things, right? So this was her interpretation of Madras checks. And again, uh, you can see the flower bazaar uh, thing, but you can also notice the only existing tram signal in Madras also incorporated as a part of the postcard in the top right. And these rubber stamps which you see here, um, the small tiny dolls which you see here are Covidas. Covidas were uh, done by women in um, Sittling Valley as a sign of resilience and fundraiser for during the COVID lockdown. So we made these little cards with rubber stamps and notes, which people could, which if someone wanted to send it to their friends or family or people they wanted to, we send them. And through this also, we were able to support around 113 families during the COVID lockdown in terms of school fees, in terms of medical needs, in terms of so many different other needs they had as well. And this was a very recent one. Uh, we were walking... Uh, uh, in, in Mount Road and while we were walking there was this person uh, who was leaning on a particular wall and uh, she, she had a lot of letters and it was I think 12 o'clock or 12.15 and then we moved in and we had a bunch of postcards in our hands and immediately she said, oh postcards, are you going to post it somewhere and then we had a conversation and she was very happy that she said, oh okay, still people post postcards. So she, uh, after getting her permission, we also sketched her uh, as a part of the postcard series. 
And the post rubber stamp kit, the, we, we call it the Namvida rubber stamp kit, goes around the city. Uh, people can buy the rubber stamp, but the idea is to have them in a lot of public spaces with a small post box unit and some yellow cards and how people can write for themselves also. We tell them, okay, you can write for your friends, write for your families, but I've always noticed uh, one of, at least two of them write for themselves. And when we give it to kids, no, they always write, uh, write the name and you can see them addressing it to like Amama. And we ask them for the address, they're like, oh, when I put Amama, I think it'll go. You don't have to have the address of Amama. Or sometimes it will be to Attai. Okay, you need the address of Attai here. And then we explain them address, and then uh, we tell them you have to put the PIN code and all that. But it's very nice when kids come back after a year or after six or seven months with a bunch of postcards to give it to us where they would have sketched something. They said, can we print this? So it is, we see the postcards as a way of creating a lot of change. And this is not the first time postcards have helped or inspired a lot of people. There has been many instances around the world. But what we tried to do was to have rubber stamps also in the equation. And now we have 12 autos where uh, behind the auto there is a space, right? So we have a small kit. And in the front of the auto, we have some yellow postcards. So if we tell, we keep telling the auto on us that, tell them if they ask. So if someone takes it and asks him, he just says, okay, you can use the rubber stamps, you can write it. And he stops when there is a post box and they can drop it. And we have it in few schools, we have it in few universities, and then also a couple of other heritage buildings. One of it is the Madras Literary Society, and we also plan to have it in other heritage buildings as well. So I think it is that one thing which is physical, which is tangible, which we can carry as a part of heritage and also remember. So these are uh, books, again, by uh, Padma, who is the artist. So sometimes you can see the same thing in the postcards and also in the... And it's to represent different social causes, different things we need to tell and different stories we need to share. And like I always uh, mention, when you want to take a photograph, yes, photos are wonderful ways to make memories. But if you want to just take a selfie outside a heritage building, you just have a selfie. But if you go in, have a conversation with them, interact with them, understand, you have a memory and a relationship for a lifetime. And then heritage is always looked at as something like a visiting card. But I believe heritage is like a postcard, where you have it, you pass it on, and then it creates happiness for the receiver as well. And this was a very interesting moment for us. Uh, we also sent the, you, you can see him wearing that post box batch by Padma, and we sent it to senior postmen and postwomen or postperson in Tamil Nadu, and we just uh, didn't think about it after that. We just wanted to send it like a gratitude. But this is postman Shivan. For 45 years, he has been a postman, and he has traveled, he had to cross three forests to reach the people. And sometimes there would be just one letter or one card which he had to deliver. But he did that every day till he retired. And uh, after so many months, like we saw a lot of people sharing it and tagging us. Like, Why are they tagging us in this? Because after we sent him that, every interview he had, he was wearing the badge. And uh, in fact, in one of the interview, he has mentioned that uh, some, someone has sent us an award. So the simple pin with a post box, that is what it meant to him. And these are some of the other postcards by Padma. And these are all her, uh, uh, her own work, which she has done. And she keeps doing it. So Afrin, uh, Srishti, or Padma, or the different artists, uh, Devika, who does all our rubber stamps, and uh, uh, Srishti, who has done a couple of rubber stamps also. So we work with different artists, but at the same time, they also have their separate set of rubber stamps and postcards. So we see this as a ripple effect where anyone can kind of create, like, I, I can't sketch, I can't draw. So when I want to decorate my postcard or my letter, so I feel the rubber stamps are a very interesting way. 
and in terms of education also, it is an interesting way to engage children to work with rubber stamps and also to make rubber stamps. The entire process of making a rubber stamp itself is very interesting. So thank you all and thank you for your time. Thank you.